Okay, so it's Christmas Eve 2020, and um, I've got the next couple weeks off from work. We, uh, we shut down for the holidays, our manufacturing, and my wife is an ER nurse, so she's at the hospital uh, working hard for all of us uh, due to COVID. Um, and, you know, I figured I'd be productive with my time and make some YouTube videos. Uh, so, uh, 2020 was a crazy year, got a lot done, um, but I think one of the biggest things I got done was creating this, uh, this home gym. And um, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I did. Um, we've been at this house for, we've been at this house for about, you know, three years now. I started it maybe like a year ago. It was a little bit of a project to get the space that I needed to get um, to start working on completing it. But, um, but yeah, what I ended, essentially what I did was I took, we had a shed on the property that was actually sitting on a slab, which is awesome. And um, I decided to use that because it had good ceiling height. And um, and what I ended up doing for all the yard stuff was building a lean-to off the back. So I'll show you, um, I'll in input some progress pictures and then I'll show you kind of, I'll do like a walkthrough of both spots so you can get a feel for it. So this is kind of, this is the shed that we had. It's came on the property with us. Um, the house, it's right here, it's not too far. Far from, from the house, so we, uh, this is the shed. Decided to turn, the, I was using the shed as kind of like to store the tractor and all the other yard equipment. And wanted to turn it into my home gym. I already had started buying some equipment, but um, what I ended up doing was building this lean-to off the side of it and it actually came out really nice what I did I did originally wanted to put the boat in there but I kind of like having more of a walking space the boat does fit but I wanted some more walking space everything has power as well Um, yeah, so I store, store the trash cans in here, store a lot of tools, all the, all my yard stuff gets stored in here, um, tractors in here, spare wood for little projects around the house, some, yo some summer stuff, uh, shop vacs, my mountain bike, um, which is a Bianchi, I scored this on Craigslist this year, we had a, I've had a lot of fun with it. Oh, this hasn't been connected. Oh, that was um, Jack. I'm learning my way around filming for YouTube. But um, yeah, so I do all my surfboard work in here. Um, this We just got back from a trip um, from Florida, visiting her parents. I actually got a lot of surf falls down there, which is awesome. One video, I'll show you some boards and kind of what, what I do for packing. Snowboards are stored in here. Wetsuits are in here. Um, you know, this is just a simple wetsuit hanger. I actually picked up this Smith helmet this year for mountain biking. Awesome, love it. Um, I've never worn a helmet uh, snowboarding, but I took a good spill last year. So we're gonna be wearing a helmet now going forward. And yeah, it's worked out well, this little barn. One with a metal roof, outside lights. Color matched it. We'll do a video on the boat this summer. It's, a, it's an old Boston Whaler, 13 foot. And we'll do a video on the military trailer and kind of what I use it for. I scored that on Craigslist a few years ago. But what I did was, because we had a lot of drippage, I took any rocks that I found around the property to uh, kind of do like this little border. It's nice, I don't have to get the mower right up next to it and I can get anything that drips down. Um, but the color match actually worked out pretty well, getting the two colors. You can tell there's a little bit of a difference, but not bad. And the roof actually tucks right under that roof. So we don't have any water coming in. Um, every once in a while, because of the tree, I kind of drop stuff, I, dro I do some cleaning. But, it's pretty much, pretty much the whole thing. Eventually, 
the drive my driveway which is now over there is going to end up coming coming up in between the trees and around around the barn and um, over here but it's for another another day And here is my favorite spot right now. And this is the gym. I'm trying to not make this video too long, so we're gonna run through this super fast. Yep, I got, um, so it started with getting everything out of here. Then I had to insulate it. Actually, I had to put some more um, studs in so the, the uh, plaster guys could have something to screw to. Um, and I wanted to get as high the ceiling height as I could, so I just kind of like, you know, made sure that they could go directly to the studs up top. Um, did all the insulation. Did all the insulation, and uh, then these guys came and put up all the drywall. Well, actually, it's plaster, and then, um, you know, I just painted it all white to keep it nice and bright. But it worked out well. I mean, it came out really, really nice. Uh, it's, I think it's like 18 by 15 feet. Um, as you can see the bar, it's actually really comfortable how the bar fits between. I got plenty of space to walk around either side. The green tape is showing, what, you know, I'm measuring out what size rack that I want. I'm looking at either the Rogue RM3 or RM4 um, for space wise. The mirrors are simple, they're from Ikea. Uh, they're the biggest ones I could find, they worked out well. I threw up some of my, some of my boards on the walls, um, super simple again. I just took a piece of pallet wood and, and, kind of, and just used like double-sided tape to get them to stay. Clock, uh, Brand, my buddy Brandon has a YouTube channel. He's been telling everybody this clock's great, got it off Amazon, works out awesome. My wife, this was my wife's edition, pray for surf. I'd rather be surfing than working out, but do love coming in here. Uh, I actually scored these Rogue bumper plates uh, like a year or two ago before the gym was even done. Um, I, started, I actually started buying things on Craigslist two years ago to kinda, you know, anytime I saw a deal, I picked it up. But um, they had been lying on the ground for two years. They were in my basement and then I moved them in here and they were just kind of like lying on the ground everywhere. So about four weeks ago, I picked up this Rogue rack to hold the plates and I mean, it's been great. The only thing is I had to add, I added these. Um, I think these are from the Infinity line. I'll look it up and do a review on this whole thing, uh, which allows me to get a couple more spots to hold all the weights so I don't have to like be digging through, through to get every weight I need, which is great. Um, uh, it's and I think Brandon also did a video on this too. Pushing this around with all this weight on it is is impossible. So I ended up having to t if I am if I do move it, I have moved it once before. I take off like like all of this and then I can pretty much roll it around, not bad. But it, with all this weight on it, it doesn't roll easily. This is uh, horse stall mats. I'm all over YouTube. You hear about them? They're easy. Brandon's got a bunch of videos on how, you know cutting them and whatnot. They're easy to work with. I do have to, they're, they're pretty tight, the seams that I have. I, I was hoping not to tape them. I mean, as you can see, they're pretty tight, but I, I may end up taping the seams. I don't know. I think it looks good without the tape, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe one day. Um, this was my first purchase. Uh, is the, these are the Iron Master adjustable dumbbells. I mean, they feel like regular dumbbells. It's the best thing I ever got. It, they're, you know, it's a, it's not that bad to adjust. I will say I don't really adjust with the with the 2.5s to go like, you know, to a 25 pound dumbbell or a 35 pound dumbbell. I don't really use the 2.5s as much. Um, I usually just do increments of 10, which is pretty quick, but uh, you know, I've, I, it's been great. I mean, they're, they're, I bought them on Craigslist. Uh, they've got their chip, they got bumps and bruises, but the handles are in great condition. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but there's a bunch of good YouTube videos up there, how they work. This, this, whatever you call this, the screw comes out, you add weights to it, you stick it in and you tighten it down and it's done. It's, it's so simple. I use it for everything. Um, but you know, maybe I'll do a review on that soon one day. This is another piece that I picked up maybe like nine months ago on Craigslist. It's the uh, Zero Gap from 
Rep Fitness. I love this thing. It's so, I, I, move, I can move it around so fast from like incline to decline to doing abs with the, with the ab attachment and it's just so easy to work with I, I, and it's stable. Um, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. So that's kind of the gym. Uh, this is, you know, one of the rogue like hangers. So for all your bands, I, I'm, I love using bands. I think it's easy to warm, warm up with. Sometimes I can, you know, do supersets with, with bands on shoulders or biceps or whatever. Um, you know, I'll probably just end up adding to this the, with like the round ones. I'm not even quite sure what those are called, but yeah, I do do, I jump rope a little bit. I don't love this. It's just a cheap GNC one. You know, maybe one day I'll, increase, I'll uh, upgrade that. Uh, I thought my wife and I were gonna do yoga in here this this winter, this summer, and that's why I got the TV up so we could like do do like do like you know I don't know. She does Peloton, the Peloton videos, and we've only been in here twice to do it. So I, the yoga mats have been used like three times, <laughs> I would say. But I ended up just using to store them nice. I just ended up using uh, the same rogue mount as up there, and. It, they, it actually holds the uh, the yoga mats like perfectly, nice and tight. Uh, these are just the shed doors. I ended up insulating these as well, and uh, I just threw a pile of wood to make it look a little bit nicer. But on the other side of that is just just insulation. I just went to Home Depot and grabbed like some cheap small pieces of wood to trim it out so you wouldn't see the edges of the uh, drywall. It's not perfect as you can see, but it, it does the job for me. And then I just trimmed out the windows with uh, pallet wood. Um, this is my new toy, I just got this. I'll do a video on this thing. I mean, without having a rack, putting weights on and off this bar is a pain in the ass. But I've had this maybe for a day and it's been, it makes life so much easier having this, having one side like jacked up so I can throw weights on it. Yeah, I would say the things I use the most in here right now are definitely the Iron Master and the bands. But outside, I mean, if I had a rack, I would use the bar more, but it's a little bit of a pain in the ass moving weights around without it being like up on, a, up on J cups. So yeah, hope you guys like it. I'll probably do a few more reviews um, on different pieces here and we'll see how it goes.